In this segment, we're going to discuss some of the implications of e-commerce on various ethical, social, and political issues. The internet is literally everywhere. It allows almost everyone on the planet to connect and communicate with one another and share information and ideas. The World Wide Web is truly worldwide. It crosses international borders and is not restricted to any one country or region. There's now far more information collected and organized on websites and via other avenues of the internet than has ever been available in all of human history. Those facts have significant implications for e-commerce, both now and in the future, as the internet and the technology that drives it continues to expand and grow. E-commerce involves using the internet, the web, mobile apps, and other software to conduct and transact business. Let's review the unique features of e-commerce ubiquity, global reach, universal standards, richness, interactivity, information density, personalization and customization, and social technology, and explore them one by one in terms of their potential ethical, social, and political significance. One of the most significant features of e-commerce is its ubiquity. In other words, as mentioned earlier, it's everywhere. The internet and web and the technology that makes it possible is available at work, home, and via mobile devices, and at any time. As a result, the ability to work remotely and shop online 24 hours a day, seven days a week, can have an impact on family and social lives and the surrounding culture. For example, shopping online while at work can be a, distra a distraction to other employees, which can lower productivity in the workplace. The use of mobile devices can result in accidents on the road and on the job. One of the biggest issues for motorists has become the hazards that can result from trying to drive and send text messages or access mobile apps at the same time. From a political standpoint, there are questions about how to handle taxes on e-commerce transactions. The telegraph and the telephone were the first technologies to make it possible to communicate and carry information all around the world. But the Internet has vast, a vast greater global reach than any other innovation in history. The technology involved reaches across the borders of individual countries or regions and connects the whole world. Now, from an e-commerce perspective, that carries with it the potential for large global companies to dominate smaller local firms. The availability of so many different products online has the potential to spread their popularity around the world, but that can also have a reverse effect. If everyone everywhere has access to the same things, the result could be a negative impact on the wide diversity of products found in various cultures. E-commerce has given companies the ability to become interconnected. However, that same connectivity also allows firms in developed countries to easily and efficiently relocate expensive manufacturing facilities to parts of the world where they can save money by paying workers lower wages. The global reach of the Internet also means that individual countries lose some of their ability to control what information, whether good or bad, reaches their people. Traditional businesses are impacted by a variety of different factors. Access to resources, physical infrastructure, cultural and geographical considerations, the various laws of different countries, and so on. E-commerce is based on universal standards. The Internet runs on the same technologies everywhere in the world. This means all companies that engage in e-commerce are vulnerable to the same viruses and attacks by hackers. These can affect hundreds or thousands of businesses and millions of people all at once. The same technology that enables firms to do business worldwide with the click of a mouse also makes it easier to commit crimes on a large scale. The amount of personal data online increases the potential for information, crime, and mass identity theft. And the standardization of the Internet makes it easier for criminals to carry out large-scale attacks against systems and mass scams or deceptions. A richness of marketing option is among the major advantages e-commerce has over traditional business. Online merchants can appeal to customers through video, audio, animations, interactive elements, emails, text messages, and more. However, for potential customers who prefer to do research on products and service in a more traditional way, too much multimedia can clutter up an e-commerce site. This makes it difficult to find the information they're looking for. A focus on screen technology can end up being a distraction. Those same rich media options also have the potential to make certain messages so persuasive that online users may stop seeking out multiple sources of information. The concept of information density 
refers to the way that online technology reduces the cost of collecting and organizing information while increasing the quality of that information. One obvious advantage is an increase in the total amount of information that's available to everyone who has access to the Internet. On the other hand, the more information that's out there, the greater the chance that some of it will be false or misleading. Unwanted information may also give users a sense of information overload. The ability to always be connected makes it difficult to get away from what can feel like a barrage of media and marketing messages coming from all corners of the Internet. In addition, while online technology can serve to make information more reliable, the sheer volume of information out there it can result in doubts about trust, authenticity, accuracy, completeness, and other aspects. A potential result is that it may become increasingly difficult for individuals and organizations to properly make use of all the information that's available online. Another unique feature of e-commerce is the ability to personalize or customize information and deliver a more powerful and meaningful message to individual consumers, as well as to groups of people. This is made possible largely by the vast amount of personal data that's stored online for almost everyone who uses the Internet. A serious implication that could result is the possibility of companies, other organizations, or governments accessing and using that information to invade people's privacy. The same technology that makes it possible for individuals and companies to conduct business transactions on the web has also led to the emergence of online social networking. While more people are connected than ever before and can share information and upload their own content, social networks are forums that can be abused. Examples of this include increased opportunities for cyberbullying and online stalking and predators. The Web 2.0 concept of user-generated content also raises questions about privacy, fair use, and consent to use information posted by individuals. In addition, as with some of the other issues we've just touched on, the ever-increasing amount of personal data posted and stored online, it gives institutions the ability to examine people's private lives like never before. 